Hey guys, um, just a really quick update. Uh, hopefully you guys can hear me because I'm kind of in my room, on the desk, um, eating my dinner, um, with my math homework before I go to a meeting. Um, so this is just some uh, Tau train that I've been doing. Um, you might not be able to see this too well, but um, it is a um, a little tower thing made from paper towel rolls. And get my lighting a little bit better. Um, so the paper towel roll. Um, here's a marine for scale. So you can see that. Um, I did what that one guy in um, vids uh, or not vid viv um, journal of no rubbish in rubbish out. Uh, his video that he had that had that one guy who made um, like this towel tower thingy uh, with um, uh, stacked up cardboard. And so that's what I've been trying out. Um, just multiple layers of um, uh, what it may look like plastic card, but it's not. It's actually just index cards. Um, so I have a huge stack of this stuff. A um, whole bunch of different index cards. Um, and so that's what I used uh, for that. <coughs> um, you can get them at the dollar store. Um, or any other place like that, so they're really easy to come by. Um, in the dollar store, you can get them um, like a dollar for 200 of those cards, so you should get two or three of those packs. Um, so it works out really nicely. Um, so that's the little tower thing I have. Um, maybe put on a little round base or something, might do something else with it. Uh, really just a uh, mock thing, so I have some little hellish things on there and that is horrible. Um a couple layers and stuff like that. Um I'm working on another piece of train. Uh this is just a lid from a holiday um container. Um again with the see that? Hold on. You might be able to see that now. Um the paper towel roll on the bottom. Um index card. Um Man Squad box, um, cardboard details. See, is that your Command Squad? Yeah, see, Command Squad. There it is. Um, a little vent thing, uh, another piece of cardboard with, um, um, just the paper towel roll right there, for like a little generator thingy. Um, a paper plate base. Yes, it is a paper plate, like that one. See, paper plate. Um, and then I got, um, hot glue glued it to the base, um, cut out windows. I might make, um, a cut along with these windows so that way guys can fit inside. I haven't decided on that yet. Um, some more layering of cardboard. Um, some more layering of cardboard. That thing, like I said before. Um, uh, so there's that. Um, little towel bunker thingy. Um, I for today in my teacher assistant class, and so I drew some towel shapes, um, some exercise circles, um, some, uh, pillar things like that I'm going to scan and, uh, cut out later for templates. Um, I drew out this Farsight logo. Um, if you guys want to learn how to freehand a logo of your army, um, for, like, towel, I'll teach you how to do it. It's not too hard. Um, some of the circles and stuff like that. Um, this could be like a door or something. I don't know. Some other shapes and stuff that I have done. It says towel. Um, so there's that. So what I'll do, I'll scan it. I'll make multiple copies. So then, for the first copy, um, I'll put it on cardboard. And then I'll just trace out the circle and cut that out. And then the next part, I'll just cut out... Uh, this first layer, and then these two, and the next one I'll have all of it cut out, and so that way I have all three layers, and um, it'll look really cool. Uh, I'll do that from all of these, um, like for this shape. I'll make multiple scans, and so or multiple um, printouts. So then the first printout only have this inner circle, where I'll have the door thing here, where I'll have the bigger circle. Um, same thing with with this. 
uh, and make multiple scans and stuff like that. So, um, there's some drawings and sketches um, for Sasso Caiz. Um, I'm having some coloring scheme difficulties because um, I talked to the guy in charge of it and said for the proof picture um, that I am actually on Heresy Online <coughs> that, that it can be printed or can be painted but uh, none of the other conversion bits can be painted so I've done some a few conversions um, this is the twin linked flammer that's on the conversion kit uh, flamer. So it'll be like that. Um, just a cleaned up fusion gun, fusion blaster. Uh, the holes drilled out. Um, another flamer converted. And then I know where to get plastic card now, um, locally. And so hopefully I'll be able to get some of that sometime this weekend. Because um, I do have until the 31st of March to get this conversion completed. Um, I don't think, or I think I'm going to use these two uh, weapons for the conversion um, conversion contest, but I will be magnetizing all of them because I don't know if I'll get all the necessary bits and magnets and stuff like that in time for the, for the conversion, um, since of shipping and stuff like that. And since my birthday is in April, my parents are like, oh, well, can you just wait a month? I'm like, no, I cannot wait a month. Um, these are the Typhoon missile launchers from the, um, uh, land speeder kit, and I chopped it in half, and then I actually took out the, in the third, uh, rocket, and I glued them together, and it looks like the picture, um, let's see if I can get that up. Oh, there's a the model. <laughs> Deep striking drain height that my friend painted for me. Well, uh, may he always be there. My friend did that for me. It's pretty cool. Alright, so get those books out of the way. Um, Battle War. No, no, this. Just open this. So, there's guys. Um, oh, they don't have it. Darn that. Well, the rock launchers that would go there. Um, put on the back. No, darn that. Uh, but the rock launchers that would go, that would go there. Um, these look pretty similar to it, which I'm pretty happy about. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, so yeah, I am having kind of trouble um, with the painting scheme that I want. Um, then these are the weapons I'll be using. Um, there's the weapon rifle. There it is. And this hole, these holes are drilled out too. Except for these, because they're a little bit smaller. Um, so, for my first, um, scheme, I'll, I was thinking of, like, my Rainier. Um, yeah, he's missing again. I'm mad. Uh, this type of gray scheme. Um, because I want him to stand out for my army, but, um, I don't want him to be the same red, because he might just blend in with the rest of my crisis suits and stuff. So, I was thinking about doing this gray, um, it's kind of like Beast of War's, um, Stone Templar, um, gray, but without the black wash. Um, I think it's just Aptos Battle Gray, uh, the foundation paint. Um, so there's that. And then, I don't know my computer on, but if I did, I, um, I found this really cool, I'll put pictures up, um, this really cool, um, what can you call it, it's like a gray, uh, that's okay, this is gray with white and red, um, it looks really renegade to me, I, I kind of like that, um, so I'll do kind of a community poll of, um, the color schemes I've found that I kind of liked. Um, or that I'll just make, and I'll do that community poll style, um, like Retribution Angel did, no, like, I'm sorry, uh, Keeper of the Fortress did, um, I'm pretty sure it's him, 
it was one of those guys. They're both pretty cool. Um, but they did um, a community pool, and it really worked for them. So that's what I might do for my guys. Um, have the different styles, painting styles. Um, so this out. That's just a quick update for me. Um, Hopefully you've enjoyed the videos I've been making so far, and see, so can even be for a statue. Oh, look at that! I don't know. Okay, I gotta go. See ya.